friend. Thank you for joining me today on a very special story time as we get ready to celebrate a very special holiday. Do you guys know what it is? I have a clue in my lap. Easter! We're getting ready to celebrate Easter. Why is Easter a big deal? Because Easter is part of the huge, wonderful, special rescue plan God has for his people and it's the massive part of it. God promised to come back and rescue us and he did. He came as a person, Jesus. Jesus lived a perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins, and then he didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave. So this week, we're getting our hearts ready for Easter, remembering what Jesus did, remember what his life was like, remember how he loved people, and how he is God. So we're going to read from this book this week as we get ready, the Jesus Storybook Bible. Every story in here really happened. Now, Frog and Toad, those are great stories. Max and Ruby, great stories. But did they really happen? No, this really happened. These are all based on the Bible. And in the Bible, every word in there is true. So are you guys ready to read with me? This is a story from Jesus' life called Washed with Tears. And you can find this story if you have a Bible. You can open up your Bible and you can find this story in Mark 14, Luke 7, or John 12. One night, Jesus went to dinner at an important leader's house. The important leader invited his important friends. They were all sitting down to eat when a woman walked in. She was not invited. But everyone knew who she was. Who does she think she is? The guests whispered, how dare she? The woman was a big sinner and everyone knew it. It was easy to see. After all, she had broken the rules and she had done bad things. The woman walked straight up to Jesus. She was carrying a very expensive perfume. Now, the thing about perfume back then was that it didn't come in bottles, it came in jars. And the jars were made out of precious stone like alabaster. But here's the catch. The jars didn't have a lid or a stopper or anything. So the only way you got the perfume out was if you broke the jar. Once you broke the jar, that was it. You had no more. Most people didn't use perfume because it was too precious. They kept it on a shelf when they looked at it. So you see, this perfume was her most precious thing in all the world. It was her treasure. The woman knelt down before Jesus like he was a king. She held Jesus' feet in her hands and she started to cry. Her tears fell onto Jesus' feet, washing them. She kissed his feet and dried them with her long, dark hair. And then she did something strange. She broke the jar and pulled, poured perfume all over his feet. Everyone gasped. <gasps> what a waste! Over someone's feet? Something so expensive as perfume? It smelled like lilies in a summer field. Jesus looked at the woman and he smiled at her. What she had done was the most wonderful thing. Just as Samuel had anointed David, God's true king, all those years before, so this woman had anointed Jesus, but not with oil, with her tears. Look at all the people's faces. <gasps> but not them. The important people were cross. They thought Jesus should not be kind to this woman. That woman is a sinner, they grumbled. We are the good ones. And it's true, they did look good from the outside. After all, they were keeping all the rules. But Jesus could see inside people and inside in their hearts. Jesus saw that they did not love God or other people. They were running away from God and they thought they didn't need a rescuer. They thought they were good enough because they kept the rules. But sin hadn't stopped their hearts from working properly. Oh, but sin had stopped their hearts from working properly. And their hearts were hard and cold. This woman knows she's a sinner, Jesus told them. She knows she will never be good enough. She knows she needs me to rescue her. That's why she loves me so much. You look down on this woman because you don't look up to God. But you are sinful. Oh, she is sinful on the outside, but you 
are sinful on the inside. The important people shook with anger. Jesus turned to the woman and smiled. Your sins are forgiven. He said, you trusted me and God has rescued you. Who does Jesus think he is? These important people whispered, only God can forgive sins. They didn't believe Jesus was God's son. The more, Jesus, the more Jesus loved people and helped them, the more the important people and the leaders hated him. They were afraid people would follow Jesus. Instead of them, they were jealous and angry, angry enough to kill Jesus. That is the end of that chapter. Whew. That's an intense story, but a sweet story. And this is the kind of story that we're gonna use this week to get our hearts ready for Easter, to celebrate Jesus and what he did, how he died and rose again. So we're gonna do something together and I'll do it at the end of all of these special Easter preparation videos with the Jesus Storybook Bible. We do it in Little Village and it's really, really helpful. So it's called the Gospel Finger Play. Can you get your fingers ready? Maybe you already know it, maybe you're learning it for the first time, but we can do it together. Okay, it goes like this. Jesus came down from heaven to be born as a baby. He lived the perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins. He was buried in a tomb. But on the third day, he rose from the dead and that's the gospel truth. All right, that's awesome. We'll keep doing that together this week as we prepare our hearts and our minds to celebrate Jesus. Thank you so much for doing this with me and I can't wait to do it again tomorrow.